So as you guys can see, it's clearly snowing here in Chicago. It's coming down and God gave me a word to share with you guys real quick. Now, you know, seasons, in order for seasons to happen, there's different things that, you know, happen with the sun and stuff like that for the, the seasons to change. And it's the same thing with like snow and rain and uh, monsoons and things like that. There's different things that happen in the atmosphere that cause it to rain that cause it to snow so check this out something that God has really been dealing with me about is how to unlock blessings how to unlock victory by walking in the spirit realm all right now this is gonna sound a little bit crazy to some of y'all but some of you know exactly what I'm talking about you've been living your life and you say man there's things that I've been trying to do the right thing but it just seems like there's things that are coming against me um, something bigger than just my decision something bigger than just my effort it's like my efforts not enough me trying to do the right thing is not enough it almost feels like there's this darkness around me that's because spiritual warfare is really real and so what ends up happening all right how things are happening in the atmosphere and you see the result is what snow things are happening in the atmosphere and you see the result is rain it's the same thing there's things happening in the atmosphere around you and then you see the results right which for you you know it might not be snow it might be generational curses it might be uh, divorces it might be depression it might be stress it might be so many things because of the atmosphere what affects the atmosphere in your life it could be very well like I said uh, generational curses things that you are entertaining in your house that are controlling the atmosphere this is why number one you want to have a relationship with God you want to be getting in the presence of God you want the presence of God in your marriage the presence of God in your finances the presence of God in your home all of that so let me show you how this works you say man I've been pressing my way but I just I just feel this heaviness around me I just feel this darkness around me. I feel like there's forces in my life that are trying to, to manipulate things around me, um, messing with my dreams, messing with my emotions, messing with my feelings, messing with my family. And let me show you, this is how it works. This is the power that you have that a lot of us never tap into and we don't realize it. The enemy, you see the snow on top of the cars? If I get in this car right now and I try to drive this car, I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere because what, I'm blinded. The enemy will try to blind you, surround you in darkness to the promises of God, to the victory of God, to the tools that you have. So the atmosphere, check this out, the atmosphere is saying, look, it's cold and it's snowing, right? And, and the enemy, imagine the snow on this car right here. It's like the enemy saying, it is so. You are defeated. You are broken. You are always going to not have a... Uh, the victory in your life. You're always going to be depressed. You're always going to be single. You're never going to overcome. But what I can do in prayer and worship, right, is I say, it's not so. Boom, look at this. And I wipe it off. And I begin to see. Look, I, I just made a little spot right there that I could see through. But the snow coming down and the enemy saying, you're always going to be evil. You're always going to be disgusting. You're always going to struggle with your lust. You ain't never going to change. And so you know, right, that it's something bigger that is fighting against you. You say, man, I, every time I try to do right, every, it just seems more things go wrong in my life. Every time I try to do the right thing, I almost regret it. It almost feels like it's easier to give into my feelings. It feels like it's easy to give into my emotions. It feels like it's easy for me to have a pity party. It feels like it's easy for me to have depression. It feels like it's easy for me to just go to the club and get drunk or to get high because that just takes away the pain. But let me tell you something. This is why you got to be aware of the powers of darkness. And to some people, it sounds crazy. But to some of you, you know what I'm talking about. You know the dreams. You know that feeling that you feel, that temptation that you feel, that heaviness that you feel. But the power that you have, the enemy comes in and, and like we see the snow in the atmosphere, right? He said, you're always going to be like your daddy. You're always going to be like your mama. And you come with your praise and you come with your worship and you come with the word of God. And you say, no, nah, it's not so. You trying to cover me in lies, but I'm covered in the blood. You try to cover me in depression, but I'm covered in the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm covered in the word of God. I'm covered in victory. I'm covered in grace. I'm covered in mercy. So I know what the atmosphere is saying around me, that my situation's not going to change, that things are not going to get better. But I have power to change my atmosphere. I have power to change my mood. You understand what I'm saying? I've got power to change my mentality. 
I've got power through the spirit to open up doors to victory in my life, to open up doors to blessing in my life. So when I'm looking around my situation, right? Oh yeah, it looks like it's snowing out here, right? I can say, nope, I'm about to change some things, but you have to have the faith to believe it. And a lot of people, they don't have the faith to believe it. They come out here, right? Let me give you one more example before I end this video. You come out here and you say, man, I know the Lord told me to go, right? But when I came out to the car, it was covered in snow. How am I gonna go when I can't see? How am I gonna go when I don't have my vision clear? How am I gonna go in these terrible conditions, right? But somebody who has faith, they come up and they say, man, I know the Lord told me to go. I know the Lord told me I can be free. I know the Lord told me I can overcome. I know the Lord told me my situation's gonna change. And I know it, it doesn't make sense right now. I know that my conditions are telling me something different, but in my praise, in my prayer, in my worship, in the word of God, the enemy says it is so, I say it's not so. Just like that, I say it's not so. You see what I'm saying? That's the power that you have. And this is how you fight for family members. This is how you fight for your marriage. This is how you fight for yourself. This is how you fight for your dream. This is how you fight for your vision. The enemy is going to tell you it is so. And you say, no, it's not so. It's not so. This isn't the end for me. This isn't the end of the road. This isn't where I'm going to be defeated. I know what it looks like. But you know what? I got a spiritual shovel. I'm going to dig my way out. I got a spiritual brush. I'm going to brush it off. That's my prayer. That's my worship. That's my faith. Do you understand what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters? You have power. You know what our biggest problem is? It's not the devil. It's our ignorance. The Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. If you understood who you was, if you understood the power that you had, you look at something like this and you say, what? That mountain about to be removed. It's a mountain of problems covering my blessing. It's a mountain of problems covering my marriage. It's a mountain of problems covering my family. But I got a spiritual shovel. And I'm about to dig my way out in faith. And I'm about to have the victory that God says I can have. I'm about to have the blessings that God says I can have. I'm about to have the marriage that I know that I can have. I'm about to have the joy that I know that I can have. I'm about to have the peace that I know that I can have. I might have to dig a little bit. My situations might not look like the word of God is true, but that's all throughout the Bible. God told Noah it was gonna rain. Did it look like rain? God gave Joseph a vision. Did it look like the vision was going to come to pass when he was in the pit? No. God told David he was going to be king. How long did it take for him to become king? Man, y'all share this video. Be blessed. Be encouraged. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.